Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and this is the AmazeFit Pro GTR3. It is marketed to be a smartwatch that has all the bells and whistles, but at a much more affordable price. Now it may look like a watch that you would wear, but is it any good? What can the Pro GTR3 offer in performance? Who is it for and what can you expect once you get it? Let's find out. Slim and stylish with a classic round clock face, the Amazfit GTR3 is made from a lightweight aircraft aluminum alloy with curved glass and it weighs 32 grams without the strap. The watch interface itself is on the larger side at 1.39 inches, so this is not for those who like a minimalistic look, but it has a design more akin to a classic watch, so it suits someone who likes their fitness tracker to blend in with their outfit rather than make a statement. The watch has just two side buttons, including a classic navigational crown or scroll wheel similar to an Apple watch. This means you can twist the button to scroll through menus and longer notifications, which adds to the watch's minimal and elegant look. With over 100 watch faces to choose from, you can store 9 on the device itself, which I found is more than enough. The animated watch faces look good, but can be a little distracting. The display features tempered glass and anti-fingerprint coating, but it's the Amazfit GTR3 Pro's high-quality screen that has really impressed me. The 1.39 inch AMO LED display at 454 by 454 pixels, 326 ppi and has excellent brightness. Technically this just means it has great visibility outdoors even in bright sunlight, as well as awesome touch sensitivity and vivid colors. If you like the screen on all the time, there's an always on option but it does rinse the battery life. The touchscreen is really responsive while the back of the GTR3 Pro is home to the advanced BioTracker 3.0 sensor and all the lights needed to measure key data including blood oxygen, heart rate and stress levels. The watch itself has a high end look and feel with a matte finish around the bezels and a comfortable 22mm sweat wicking silicone band that you barely even know is there when you're sleeping. Quick release pins let you easily swap out the bands as well. The GTR3 Pro comes with a good quality inbuilt mic so you can use the offline voice assistant for basic control commands or via Amazon Alexa. But it doesn't have a speaker, so don't be surprised when Alexa doesn't reply out loud. The results will instead show in text or images on the watch display. With more than 150 workout types, the Amazfit GTR3 Pro is prepared for practically any kind of exercise. It supports presets ranging from traditional cardio machines and pool swimming to something like eSports and foosball. Yes, I said foosball. The Amazfit GTR3 Pro is water resistant at 5 ATM, which means you can take it swimming or take a bath with it on and it won't even break at all. It'll even measure your heart rate underwater. The GTR3 Pro has Zep's Native Personal Activity Intelligence Score, which reminds me of the Active Zone Minutes tool found on the best Fitbits like the Fitbit Sense and Fitbit Charge 5. The goal is to earn and maintain at least 100 PAI points over a 7 day period, which isn't difficult as long as you work out regularly. Beyond physical activity metrics, the Amazfit GTR3 Pro offers sleep, stress, and temperature tracking. I prefer not to read my stress levels because it usually makes me more anxious, so instead of taking standalone stress tests, I use Amazfit's one tap measurement tool. In a 45 second reading, the GTR3 Pro will tell you your stress score, heart rate, SpO2 level, and respiration rate. I think more of the best fitness trackers should offer this all-in-one option for gathering health data. Most of these metrics can be measured individually too. You can have your stress monitor every 5 minutes and receive alerts when your stress score is high for an extended period of time. Similarly, with automatic blood oxygen monitoring, you can get a notification if your SpO2 levels fall low. Just note these features will cut into your battery life big time. The GTR3 Pro smartwatch features are a mixed bag. One highlight is offline voice controls which activates your watch's microphone for the 5 seconds after you raise your wrist unless you ask for a certain app or workout type to launch. This watch also has Alexa, so you can control any of the best Alexa compatible devices in your home or ask questions throughout your phone's Wi-Fi connection, but Alexa can't dictate answers back to you. Another odd trade-off is how Bluetooth connectivity lets you answer calls on your watch, but messages and other notifications are read-only. I like to text from my smartwatches rather than carry on an entire phone conversation on my wrist. At least the speaker quality is solid enough for when I did answer the occasional call. The speaker on the watch can be used to play music, which is something the Apple Watch doesn't offer. Not that I really want to use my smartwatch as a speaker anyway, I don't like being that guy on the subway. Luckily, you can pair Bluetooth headphones for playback. You can store just over 2GB of music downloaded in the companion Zep app too. Speaking of, you need the Zep app quite a bit when customizing your experience with the GTR3 Pro. Several apps will prompt you to initiate setting change or see further health info on your smartphone. You also need to add new smartwatch apps from your smartphone, not that there are many apps to choose from, currently Zep's app store only provides in-brand programs. There's no NFC chip for mobile payments, so no leaving your wallet at home either. Still, Amazfit watches are convenient for iOS as well as some of the best smartwatches for Android. Even Fitbit smartwatches can only transfer calls to Android phones, but the GTR3 Pro can easily pull incoming calls from my iPhone. 
You don't see many smartwatches that play nice equally with both major smartphone softwares. It's either one or the other. Amazfit says the GTR3 Pro offers up to 12 days of battery life. I assume that's with light use though. When I enabled a few of the automatic health tracking features and the always on display, it will need a boost after about four days. Still, that's a lot better than every Apple and Samsung smartwatch, which at the most will last around 20 hours. I juiced the GTR3 Pro back up in about two hours using the included magnetic charger. Amazfit has created the best smartwatch for those who don't care about Wear OS or Fitbit. The GTR3 Pro is just an incredible from pretty much every aspect and it's something that you should definitely consider. Pricing is a bit more expensive than similar options out there, but what you get in return is a premium smartwatch that lasts forever. You'll just need to be prepared to miss out on things like third-party apps and Google services. You also won't be able to use Google Pay as the GTR3 doesn't feature an NFC chip, but it's just the one trade-off that needs to be considered. If you want a smartwatch that keeps track of your workouts, allows you to read notifications, this is the one to get. If you need anything more robust, then you're better off looking elsewhere. But that's just my opinion. Why don't you let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Give the video a like if you learned anything and maybe hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these types of reviews. If you want a little bit of a smartwatch that still won't break the bank but want the Apple features, then why not check out this video on the Apple Watch SE. You might find something more for you there.